Hey guys, Top Tech Tips here, and today I'll be showing you how to put a third party theme on Windows 7. So the first thing you're going to have to do is download Universal Theme Patcher. It's the thing that enables you to put in the third party themes. Once you download it, you'll get a folder called Universal Theme Patcher. Just open it, and then if you have a 64 bit operating system, click there, and if you have an x86, just click here. And then once you open it, it'll look something like this. Just click English, or whatever language you are. I'm English, so I'll use that. Then click OK. And then th something like this will pop up. Yours will most likely say, zero files have been patched, three files need patching. So just click Yes. And then there will be options right here, Patch, Patch, and Patch. So if you click Patch, Patch, and Patch, it will ask you to restart your computer. Uh, so just restart your computer, and that then you're done patching your files. After you do that, you're going to have to download the theme you want. So for my example today, I'll be using a theme called Thigh Impact, founded on DeviantArt. So once you download the theme and extract it to your desktop, usually a RAR file, hopefully you have WinRAR and know how to use it. Anyways, uh, once you download it and extract it to your desktop, you'll most likely get something look like this, theme, system files, and fonts. So your first thing you have to do once you get that is just open the fonts and select them all and just click and click install actually click install and just click do this for all current items and click yes and wait like 10 seconds or so and then after it's done doing that you're going to want to copy the system files right here over to where you are so just open RTM and if again if you have 64 bit or 86 just click, choose the one that you have and then after that go to computer Go to your C drive and go into Windows and scroll down and explore.exe will be right there. So you're gonna want to do the take ownership of it. I'll put a link in the description for take ownership. Just do that. The window will pop up. Once it's done taking ownership, just go ahead and copy over the file. You might want to make it a old, rename it to old. So explore.exe.old dot b again. <laughs> That's just my old explorer here. Just click yes. Now you, now you have no explorer, so don't do anything really. Now, now you want to copy over your explorer.exe, so just drag and drop it into here. It will say move to Windows. And if you really want to, you want to keep a backup of this theme, you can just copy and paste. For sake of time, I just drag and dropped. Anyways, once you do that, you're going to want to go to. Uh, uh, I believe it's System32, yeah, uh, right here, and then you're going to replace these files here, so look for Explorer Frame, so right there, and you're going to want to take ownership of it, and then I'm just going to create a backup of this one, so, and then you're going to want to copy over this Explorer Frame here, and, uh, Again, you're gonna want to do that with shell32.dll. So down, 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 all the way down at the bottom. Ah. So right here, shell32. Just rename it again to old or whatever. Oh yeah, take ownership of it first. Then rename it to old. So and then just click yes, and then copy and paste this into here. And now you have all the system files, you're going to want to put the uh, theme, where the theme goes, so, one second, Windows, uh, one second, sorry, I blanked out there, uh, it's right here, so go to Windows, C, Windows, and then Resources, and then go to Themes, and then open up Theme in here. And you'll see there's a folder and thighimpact.theme. Just drag and drop those both in. And uh, you should now have the theme right here. Just click it to enable it. It'll automatically just enable itself. So it'll say, please wait. And then there you go. Now you have the thigh impact theme. Now, if you really want to get the most out of this theme, you can restart your computer. So in my case, I'd have to restart my computer to change the explorer.exe or start button. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you liked this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. See you next time.